it's me, Nintendo Veteran 85. Great to see you all. And sorry about not getting a video uploaded right away. <coughs> this is a video, it's a very special video. It's my thoughts on the Nintendo Direct on April 8th, 2014. It was an all Super Smash Bros. Nintendo Direct, so this is going to be spoilers to some of you who have not seen it yet. But if you want to know what I think about it, please, by all means, watch this video. These are just my thoughts. So, I did try to do a reaction video of it, but the video of the Nintendo Direct went download, so... Eh... I tried downloading it, but it's like... No, it, it won't download. It's taken like five hours, literally five hours, trying to download the video, so... No reaction. But, I am going to tell you my thoughts on this whole Nintendo Direct. <coughs> For starters, <laughs> they told us the release date. Finally. Not the exact date, but, but the times of year that they're going to release it. So, I don't know. The Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS is going to be released summer of 2014, which is only like a couple months or so away. And the Wii U version is going to be released in winter 2014. So, for those of us who want to get both of them, we can be playing the 3DS, and then when the Wii U one comes out, pick that up. Oh, and here's another update. Mr. Sakurai himself has said that this counts as Super Smash Bros. 4 and 5. Yeah. I was like, oh, so this is separate. So they might add some stuff to the Wii U they won't add to the 3DS then. Mmm. Even though they say there are exclusive stages. Well, think about this way, guys. The Wii U's going to get a lot of downloadable content. So, once that comes out, I'm picking it up. And yes, I will be getting the one for 3DS, so... Yeah. Okay. <coughs> now, here are my thoughts on the Direct. Epic Beyond Words. There is a trophy that they show that I kind of am Big time. I don't know if it's a clue for her to be a cis trophy or for her to be a character. But they showed Tiki from Fire Emblem Awakening. I I kinda fanboy big time. I was just like, oh my gosh, it's Tiki, it's Tiki, yay Tiki. And if you're all wondering why I love Tiki so much. Hmm, well, for starters, she is one of the very few Nintendo girls that does not get captured. Yeah, that's right. People say, but, but Nintendo, you gotta think about it. She was about to get attacked by, by all those risen things. Sorry for spoilers to some of you who have not played it yet. If you've not played it, spoiler alert. Okay? Alright, here we go. Yeah, in one of the chapters, I believe it's chapter 17 or 18, I haven't beaten it in a long time, so... So, one of those chapters, you have to protect Tiki, and make sure the Risen does not get to her, because she's sitting there, focusing her power, powering up. Yeah. She wasn't about to be captured, they were trying to kill her, because they're scared of her. Yeah, they're so scared they have to try to gang up to attack Tiki. Yeah. A lot of the boss in this game are terrified of her for that reason, because she's too strong. And when she went on my team, you know, the thing that won my heart is that is that the male avatar is the only one she has an attraction for. Yeah. Yeah, she does. And 
that really, that really touched my heart. I loved it. And the fact that she's so, so adorable. <clears throat> yeah, and it's amazing how she can turn into a dragon. And in Fire Emblem Awakening, spoilers again, the characters are able to get married. <laughs> yeah, and the only one that she would marry was my avatar. Which I felt like... Oh wow, I'm so honored! Wow! I was the only one she was really bond with. I'm like, aww. And anyway, enough about, enough about that. And they did show something else that really made a lot of us happy. Mega Man's Final Smash. It shows Mega Man with Mega Man X, Mega Man from Battle Network, Mega Man from Star Force, and Mega Man Volna from the Mega Man Legends series, all shooting Ultimate Blasts. All of them. All five of them. And I've seen some really epic reactions to that, so... Oh, man, it was awesome. <clears throat> anyway, and they also showed, you know, this is what made me really laugh, that really made me respect Sakurai. Mas Masahiro Sakurai, he, he's, this is funny. He said, he said, you notice how the Zero Laser does not get rid of Samus's power suit? Well, we're sorry, we're not going to have Zero to Samus in this game. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Sakurai trolled us. That's the kind of trolling that I actually like. When he just like, oh, I'm sorry, but she's not going to be in this game. Psych! Oh, it was so great. I was like, Mr. Sakurai, you troll! <clears throat> but they did power up Sirius and Samus quite a bit toward her attacks are really fast and super strong. So she is now a separate character from Samus herself. Yeah. And they've done the same thing with Princess Zelda and Sheik, so... That makes me happy. Yes! But sadly, they did not show the Zero Suit Samus Final Smash in this one. I doubt it's going to be the same as the other one due to her being a separate character now, so... We don't have to worry about it. Oh, and they showed some new assist trophies. Skull Kid. I thought that was awesome. It just shows like this really dark energy going around him. Probably, I think, as he smash, as he hits everyone with him, smashes him. It didn't show the full effect of him though, so. Mm. And Midna from Zelda Twilight Princess is not a playable fighter, but an assist trophy. You're all asking. Wait, but Nintendo, you. You wanted her as a playable fighter, didn't you? Why aren't you upset about this? Well, I'm just happy she's in the game. I'm really happy about this. I'm just like, yes! So, no complaints here. And you know what they say. You remember Little Mac was in this trophy? And look what happened. Boom. I can tell right now that Minna will be a playable fighter in the next Smash Brothers, so I'm I'm not worried about it. I just go, meh. Unless they make her a downloadable character for the Wii U version. Mmm. I like it. And another thing that really blew my mind was you can customize the movesets of all the characters. Yeah. Custom move sets. I was like, yes. 
it's really cool how they did that, and they didn't show anything about customizable stages or anything, but I know Mr. Sakurai is going to put him in. I know he will. Unless he's saving that for the Wii U version. Ooh. Maybe they'll give us a lot more parts. You know, like back in Brawl. Sorry guys, but Story Mode was not announced for this, so... Eh? But they did have like two modes. Let me try to remember what they were called. One of them, I forgot what it was called. But, well, I mean... Like, they're online modes. One of them is for fun. For fun is basically where all the stages are random, and there's no final destination. You're all thinking, oh, that's awesome! But, wait, wait till I'm done. You're going to love this part. And, <coughs> and basically, basically, you get to use any of the items you want. Any items. You get to, like, um, you don't have to worry about, like, the online. I'll speak of the online thing that he talked about in a little bit. I only saw the direct one, so please bear with me. <laughs> and he also talked about um, for the for glory mode. There's for fun and for glory. For glory, the only stage that's usable is Final Destination. You're all like, "Oh, that's no fair." But what about the other awesome stage we like? Well, here's the good part. The really good part. Okay. And of course, in Four Glory Mode, there's no items, which we play by that all the time, so no big deal. And also, here it comes. Every stage has a Final Destination version of it. A flat stage. Yeah. For Skyloft, in the Wii version, they're going to have Final Destination stage. For Zelda Spirit Jacks, Final Destination stage. For Mario level, Final Destination like stage. So, you get to enjoy all the stages in Fort Glory mode too. I'm happy to say the least. Sounds like, that is epic! Making it fun for everybody. Even if you want to go to full glory mode with no items, Final Destination. Well, well people, we are going to give you the options of using all the other stages with in Final Destination mode. Yeah. And just why I thought Nintendo couldn't get more epic. Awesome. Okay. And there's a mode on 3DS called um, Smash Run. It's 3DS exclusive, so it's for all 3DS if you buy the 3DS version. So, up to four players. We can go around like fighting random enemies, picking up power-ups, and all the power-ups you get and, and all that, we, after you collect them and after you're finished, you use them in a four-player free-for-all. Yeah. Like, you can pick up boots to make yourself faster. You can pick up attack bars to make yourself stronger. You can, um, get, like, other stuff to make your special attacks even more powerful. It just goes on and on. It's... You just gotta see the direct for yourself. In fact, I'll put the link in the description below for all of you to watch. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And one of the biggest parts that made me mind blown. Okay, the final part of it of the Nintendo Direct. Two characters. One, Charizard. By himself. No Pokemon trainer to back him up at all. It's just Charizard. And before I go on, Lucario's final smash is Mega Lucario. Yep, that's right, guys. Mega Lucario. 
and Charizard's final smash is Mega Charizard X. I can't wait. And the newest addition to the team, if you have not seen Smash Bros. Site or have not seen the Direct, spoiler alert, I'll give you a few seconds to go to the site, okay? One, two, three. You went there yet? If not, okay, I'll just tell you. For those who have played Pokemon X and Y, you know where I'm going with this. That's right. Xerneas is in a Pokeball. Approved. Evil Tile or Wyvel Tile? However, however you pronounce it was not shown yet, so we don't know if we're getting them. But the newest fighter is the Water Pokemon Starter. Greninja. Yeah. Greninja. Oh my gosh. My reaction to that was so priceless. I have Luigi hand on. I took it off. It almost knocked my headphones off. Oh man. That was awesome. It was the best thing I've ever seen. It's like, you're using... A brand new Pokemon that just recently came out, and he's a fighter. I approve. And it says, Greninja makes a splash. I see what you did there, Nintendo. Awesome. Love it. And I, for one, am going to get this new Smash Brothers. No questions asked. This is one I'm determined to get. More than determined. I still have to get like Animal Crossing New Leaf, Bravely Defaults, Yoshi's New Island, but this Smash Bros. is going to be at the top of my list. Yeah, I'm going to go reserve it, make sure I get it. I can't wait, it's going to be so epic. So, to an epic Nintendo Direct from Master Hero Sakurai. Well done. That was the coolest IntelliDirect I've seen yet. Reggie Philemon's from the Amer American Nintendo president was not in his alley, but what can you do? It was the creator of Smash Brothers. This was a special Nintendo Direct. And next I'm going to be doing a reaction to apparently one that came out a little bit after called Tamadachi Direct. That'll be interesting. That will be the third Chad React. So, hope you all look forward to it. Thank you for listening and being patient with me. And thank you all so much for subscribing. And don't forget to leave a like, comment on your thoughts about this Nintendo Direct. And I'll see you next time. And this is Nintendo Vetchin85 signing out saying... Bye-bye, and God bless you all.